Maps have always helped us understand the world, but the world is changing, and so is mapping. Today we're launching Mundi, the first open source GIS built around AI. With Mundi, we've built it from the ground up to make AI the core feature of GIS to give an entirely new experience to making maps. So here I have an empty map inside of Mundi. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually connect it with my existing data. So I'll just add and paste in my uh, PostGIS database connection. I'm going to connect it to a Postgres database with 150 tables in it that describe um, Norwegian offshore petroleum extraction. This is a really complex database with all sorts of relationships between tables. Once the database loads, I can actually see a Wikipedia-like article about my Postgres database. This describes how it's actually about petroleum data and it has all sorts of different tables relating to fields, licenses, well bores, facilities, uh, and it even has diagrams describing how different tables relate to each other. And Q, our AI assistant inside of Mundi, can actually add tables from the Postgres database. I've asked Q to add in some map layers of what it thinks are the most interesting uh, tables from my database. It's added something called Aphex areas, additionally, this database of licenses, and also discoveries, which are a little bit smaller. It also added fields. And it's decided that it wants to style them. Okay, so it made it a little bit more transparent. And I'm gonna add it, ask it to add two more tables that I think are interesting, which are well bore locations and also the pipeline metadata. Okay, we see it's added well bores. And now it's added the pipelines. I think it would be better if the pipelines were black. So I've asked it to make that symbology edit. So now it's edited the symbology of that layer. And I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to hit save. You can actually jump back to different map versions in Mundi. Um, but now I want to show that you can actually run geoprocessing algorithms here. Let's do the licenses. So Q can actually run geoprocessing algorithms, in this case from QGIS, and edit these, um, yes, and edit what's going on here. So now I've added the license centroids, I can go ahead and hit save. And that's kind of a demonstration of some of the more powerful features of Mundi. So as the engineer in charge of Mundi, why did you decide to go open source and why did you decide to build a whole new platform for it? Yeah, so there's really two big parts of Mundi. Uh, for the first one, I think open source is really about control. When you use proprietary GIS software, you lose control. The data is going to the data is going wherever the company thinks your data should go. Um, you don't have any control over the roadmap. You don't have any control if they decide to uh, change prices on you. Um, and all of that is kind of secondary with an open source project. Um, with open source, you can run it locally. You can have complete control and you can have the code yourself. The second one is that it's uh, AI native. Um, AI native actually means that instead of, unlike our other products, where we added AI into an existing GIS, so we saw that with our AI vectorizer, with the AI georeferencer, um, Q, our plugin for QJS, uh, unlike these, we've actually built the GIS around AI. Um, and we did that because it allows you to take advantage of the better uh, language models, the better AI models that are available today that can actually do most of the work for you. Great. If you want to try out Mooney, go to app.
www.moondi.ai. You can try it for free.